Hello and welcome everyone. Dr. Mandel here with you. Hopefully you're having a beautiful day or night. Today's topic is a great one. How to determine if you really have carpal tunnel syndrome. Let's go right into the meat and potatoes. Uh, we're looking here at the median nerve. The median nerve, when compressed at the wrist area, right in here, uh, this will cause uh, numbness, tingling, uh, pain. The pain can actually go proximal back up the arm or distal into the fingers. But generally, the first three fingers, that's generally where you'll feel it. And sometimes the inner fourth finger right here, as you see on that uh, picture right there. Uh, realize that carpal tunnel syndrome is cumulative. That means uh, even people taking their smartphone and poking like this, people who use their wrists a lot, type a lot, do fine manipulative movements, even anything when it comes to using your wrist repetitively, obesity, pregnancy, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, diabetics can get this type of compression. Now realize uh, retaining fluids, particularly in pregnancy, hormonal changes can cause swelling in there. Uh, but what I did do, by the way, uh, I want to tell you now before I forget, uh, in the description below, I did put a, a great, uh, one of my videos is a carpal tunnel self-correction release. It's an adjustment that you can do on yourself because most carpal tunnel comes from shifting or misalignment of the carpal bones. And this can actually free up any fixations or uh, uh, lack of mobility that you may, that you should be having, but you're not. Okay. So you can see right there, as we move forward here, uh, we're looking at the transverse carpal ligament. Uh, that will go into those, those first three fingers as we explain that median nerve. This is a median nerve involvement. Uh, many times uh, these conditions are not really carpal tunnel. So there are two main very important tests, orthopedic tests, seen worldwide in neurology, orthopedics, uh, uh, chiropractic, uh, through physical therapists, that I'm going to share with you that you can do on yourself. And this will give you a better understanding of this particular condition. This first one's called Phelan's sign or Phelan's test. Now, what we're doing here is we're taking our hands and putting the back of our hands together, just like that. Okay. And we're going to hold it there about uh, at least a minute to two. And if you are holding this, if you see that nerve, see how it's being compressed by those arrows? That nerve in a true carpal tunnel will be compressed against that flexor retinaculum or compressed, whatever's compressing on that nerve, and you will get tingling into the fingers, numbness or pain into the wrist, generally within about a minute. But I would do it about a minute to two. And if you feel nothing, then you are free, even if you're having pain in the wrist and this test is negative you probably do not have carpal tunnel syndrome. Now, we'll show you the other one in just a second. But realize that even if you are healthy and you do this, this is going to take five, six, seven, maybe up to 10 minutes to start to feel some numbness or uh, discomfort. Realize that true carpal tunnel syndrome generally will cause tingling and numbness when you're sleeping, can wake you up middle of the night. Uh, when you get up in the morning, you feel like you have to shake your hand a lot uh, just to give you the symptoms of this particular diagnosis. Um, as we move here, this just shows another picture as I was doing better on the picture. But again, you'll hold that uh, a good minute to a minute and a half. And if you start to feel tingling into those first three fingers, as we just showed you, then that potentially means that you will have possibly carpal tunnel syndrome. Let's move up here. Now there is the carpal tunnel uh, uh, region. You see how it travels underneath that transverse carpal ligament just to give you an understanding. Why am I showing you that now? Okay. The reason I'm showing that is because this, we're going to take that area right uh, about in this area here, and we're going to tap it. And as we tap it like this, that is called Tinnell's sign. And what we're doing is we're exacerbating or irritating an irritation on the median nerve that's already inflamed. It's already actively inflamed. And when we irritate that nerve, we'll get that tingling or that numbness sensation or that shooting sensation into those fingers. That will be another indication of a carpal tunnel syndrome. 
okay? So generally, uh, you'll tap it like this. And if you feel nothing, you probably do not have carpal, true carpal tunnel syndrome, even if you're having the symptoms. Now, what we do medically, okay, is I will take a reflex hammer, all right, right here, and we will generally just tap it with the reflex hammer. And generally, uh, a person may feel it a little easier uh, because it's a, it's a firm object. But you can use your fingers just to give you an understanding. Now, this here will show you again on that tunnel sign. Uh, when we hit that nerve, you kind of get that burning, that radiating, that shocking, that tingling. Uh, people do experience different sensations, but that, that is probably the best way to explain it uh, when it comes down to that. Now, the reason why I wanted you to understand this, because in true carpal tunnel syndrome, uh, in the advanced stages, we are going to get atrophy. Atrophy, this is the thenar eminence. And if you look at the left normal thenar eminence and you look at the right thenar eminence, you will see a big difference. A person who has had carpal tunnel syndrome in the later, later phases will notice atrophy. Atrophy, by definition, is loss of muscle where it's not getting the nerve supply from that median nerve and it starts to just shrivel up. That is a key indication. Now, if you are experiencing this atrophy, you will have possibly no symptoms, but looking at your, uh, but looking at it, they look different. So look at your uh, hands right now. And if you notice that one of your hands may be different than the other, see a physician, get it checked out. Now, uh, I have left, uh, let me go back down here. Um, I did leave, as I said in the comments, a very good adjustment uh, that uh, a self-adjustment because my channel again is all about self-help and uh, many of the times that when the carpal bones are misaligned or shifted from all the work that we do just from typing and driving and holding our arms in odd, odd positions even massage therapists who keep their hands like this all day long you can get a shifting in the carpal bone affect that median nerve so it's worth uh, trying that. Uh, there are some, many other great alternatives to uh, this, as you can see on my channel as well. But I just wanted to give you a heads up to help you to save you money, to save you running around from doctors, because generally uh, a doctor will, will do these two tests. These are the two primary main orthopedic tests worldwide, uh, not just in the United States. But these are tests that you should be able to do too. You shouldn't have to go to a doctor if you can do it on your own. Now, if you are experiencing this, it's always good to get uh, uh, consultation because uh, I'm not here to uh, treat nor diagnose any of you, even though my objective is to help you so you, I can save you time and money and hope hopefully you can get well real soon on your own. But remember, in carpal tunnel syndrome, keeping the wrist straight, icing, vitamin B6 is excellent, um, doing cross fiber massage, you can work on that uh, transverse carpal ligament and you can actually release it with your fingers and kind of do cross fiber massage. There's a lot of different things you can do, but you realize, realize that these things are caused by uh, over repetition, cumulative trauma that you're doing over and over and over and it's just something you need to uh, control. I hope that this uh, video really gives you some good direction. I think the presentation was right on today. Um, I really couldn't say it better than I did, uh, but this is something great that every person should know about. Uh, please share these videos. They're very powerful. Check out my channel. Leave your comments below. Check me out, Motivational Doc, on Facebook. And uh, most important, make it a great day for all of you worldwide or night, and we'll catch up with you on our next video. Bye-bye now.